I'm, I'm 55. I watch a lot of footy, and I'm a bit hardened these days. Not much gets you too excited. You look at everything with a grain of salt. That kid, George Wardlaw, <laughs> the, the, the warlord. The warlord. <laughs> watching him on the couch yesterday. I'm sitting like there warlord. watching him. I'm th he's th third game in, yeah. and. So then you go, well, can he win the NAB Rising Star? He's, he's, you know, he's, a you know, he's, he's given the rest of head start. He's given Ashcroft and Sheasel and these boys, um, uh, Mitch Humphreys. Allen, Humphreys a head start. But I tell you what, his best is as good as I've seen from many of the young kids that have come through now. And what an exciting time for North Melbourne. I know they've had their... They've been kicked around for so long now. This kid it got me as excited. I don't get excited about the midfield as much, Bucks. I did with this kid. And you know what? The, the word come through, and I love this always. Joel Selwood is the bloke. He's the benchmark for, for mm. first-year players, for guys that can walk in and have an impact physically. He, this was his um, coach high, the coach league. So the this un, was his under 18 under, league. His last year in the under 18. So his numbers stack up next mm. to next to Joel. So the, I can't I can't find anyone else to compare him with higher than Joel Selwood. Oof. But he's gone and done three weeks, and the highest praise you could be, I think Joel's over overseas at the moment. If he was watching, he would have just gone, he would have just doffed the hat. Yeah. That's yeah. how good he was. I'll, yeah. I'll give you uh, a player he looks like, Paul Kelly. Yes. Yeah, he has got like a that, that, that lanky, not, not, you know, he doesn't need to, doesn't do anything um, overly polished, but so effective yeah. and so hard. He looks like that already. 17 clearances in his first three games, and uh, you boys will show us in a moment when they got to work from a clearance point of view. It was he, and it was Sheasel, and it was Will Phillips. So um, for those that are at home, Kangaroos fans, one in particular I know will be watching, start to get a little bit excited about what's coming through.